Hi everyone, here is another quick video to show you how you can properly resize your images without losing too much image quality. Um, because everyone is really concerned about how their website will look on mobile devices, on how, how it will look on retina devices as well, we've been receiving a lot of questions on how to properly resize your images to make sure that they not only look good but they also load fast. So here's a short video tutorial on how to resize your images and enable them for web use. So what I have here is an image, just an image, an interior image. Basically it is 3,600 pixels wide. The size of the image as you can see here is 5.5 megabytes. So what I've done, I've actually added to Photoshop and what I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to save this image optimized for web. Um, and we'll see how that plays out into the quality of the image, but then also how that plays out into the overall size of the image. So what we need to do is go to File, click on Save for Web, and here we have the option to select JPEG. Our quality should be set as high and quality set as 60%. If we go to very high, you'll see that the quality changes to 80% automatically. So we'll just leave it at 60% as it is. Click on save. I'll retitle the image so we can have it different. So I'll type it as 60. and click on save. All right, so let's go back to our folder. Okay, so what we have here essentially are two images. As you can see, one is 5.5 megabytes, the other is 1.1 megabytes. Let's click on the image settings. We see that both images are at 3,600 pixels so what this really shows us is that the images have not really reduced in quality. We still remain, uh, we still keep our pixel size, but the actual image size is much less. This gives us the opportunity to load high resolution images to your website and not slowing down the image speed. We've also done a quick comparison between some of the images and here I have the 5,000 pixel, I'm sorry, the 3,600 pixel, 5.5 megabytes. And right next to it, I have the same image, but at 1.1 megabytes. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to translate as this video is on YouTube, but essentially, if we zoom in, just on this lamp over here, and if we go back and forth between the images, we see that the 5.5 megabyte image has a little bit of more contrast. So there is a slight contrast the difference and a slight color difference between the image which has been saved for web at 1.1 megabytes and the original 5.5 megabyte image. But overall speaking, if you optimize and save the images for web, you really don't lose any quality at all. The second option we also have is to reduce the the size of the image as well the overall size so we'll cut it down by 50 percent and go from 3600 to 1800 pixels click on ok we'll save it for web again and let's Put this as 1600. All right, so what you see here is actually that the image, which is six, 1600 pixels, is a third of the 1.1 megabyte image size. So technically speaking, this would load even faster. If we, once again, if we compare it on how it looks on our web browser. 
So let's zoom out. So here we have the two images. This image is at 3,600 pixels, and this image is at 1,800 pixels. There really isn't any color difference, no contrast, no, um, no huge color difference between the two. Now, of course, if we compare it with the 5.5 megabyte image, there will be a slight image and color difference. But overall, whether you save it at 1.1 megabytes or if you save it at 335 kilobytes, you don't really lose any image quality. So this is why we recommend to keep um, to save your images, optimize them for web, but you can still keep a high um, pixel rate for your images, which will also look great on retina devices.